Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create characteristic curve of a MOSFET in MATLAB Simulink. Now, MATLAB has an inbuilt example, which you can use it. So first, I show you how to open that example. In the command window, you can type elec, underline MOSFET, and enter. So the example opens. Basically, this is the example, and there are some codes embedded into this example. And um, you have the MOSFET here. And if you click on plot results, basically it performs a simulation for different gate voltages and eventually gives you the characteristic curve at different gate voltages. Let us wait so that this finishes. Okay, so basically this is the characteristic curve for this particular MOSFET. Now, if you want to change the MOSFET to something that you have it, for example, you bought different MOSFETs and you want to model them. So you have to change the parameter of these MOSFETs such that the characteristic curve matches to what you have on the data sheet. Now, this one, I will do it in a separate video to show you exactly what to do. But in this video, I want to show you how to create this example. Now, we already have this example. Why should we create it? Because as you can see, in this case, we have some MATLAB codes are linked to this Simulink model. So I want to teach you that. So instead of going through this example and um, explaining on the code, I prefer to create this example from scratch. Uh, the model that I will create will not be exactly like this, but it's very similar and the results will be the same. And we will learn how to couple a MATLAB code to a Simulink such that we can run multiple simulation and uh, at the end we plot the results that we want. Okay, so now I'm going to open a new model. And close this old model. Or maybe we can leave it there. Maybe it can give us some ideas. Okay, so we go to the library. We search for, for example, voltage source, because we need to provide the voltage of the gate. So let's say this is our voltage source. We need a MOSFET. So we search for MOSFET. So I take a, an N-channel MOSFET, put it here. We also need uh, ground. All right, so we take this electrical ground here. We also need the um, measurement sensor. What should I search for? Yes, current measurement. We need a controlled voltage source. Voltage source again. But this time we need a controlled voltage source from Simscape library. Remember that everything that you get should be from Simscape library. So this is a controlled voltage source. I also need a scope, or maybe two of them. So I can have two scope here. Okay, and another one. And a ramp voltage. ramp signal because we want to increase the drain and source voltage and measure the current and also we need some converter to convert simulink to simscape this or maybe this maybe the other one i also put it here all right so we have all the components that are necessary so now i zoom in a bit connect Maybe this one we can enlarge it a little bit. Okay, so this one comes here. This is the gate. And also we need a solver block. So we also need this one. All right, so now we have this voltage source, which basically we apply the voltage to here and we apply the ground to, let's say this is the connected to this one. All right, 
and we are going to create a ramp so this one should be you can hold control and R to rotate this two times so this one comes here and this one goes to here so we create a ramp it comes to this voltage source the voltage source basically applies the voltage across drain and source and now we also need to measure the current that flows here so again control and R R to rotate this it's upside down but we do not care at this moment that this current source is flipped because I want to have the positive uh, polarity of current source it, the current flows like that so that current is positive okay so first I'm going to measure the the current so this one comes to here and then it goes to one scope and also at the same time I want to measure what voltage we apply so this is the second scope alright so we have now created the model and the solver configuration should be also connected to ground alright so now let us uh, change the simulation time to one second let me I also close this so the simulation time to one second and this ramp voltage I will also change it let's say the slope to six such that when the time reaches to one second the voltage will reaches to six this is okay and then gate voltage let us apply a value five volts for example if you perform this simulation we see that this one is the ramp voltage so within one second the drain source voltage reaches six volts and uh, this is the current basically it goes up and eventually reaches the saturation okay so the task for us is to do this simulation for different gate voltages and then plot all the characteristic curve in one graph right now what we have here is the current drain source current but this is versus time we want to plot this drain source current versus voltage First thing that we have to do is to transfer the data of this oscilloscope to workspace because then we can uh, play with those data. So in order to do that, double click on the oscilloscope, click on view, configuration properties, and then here click on logging and log data to workspace, apply. And we do the same thing for the other oscilloscope. So view, configuration properties, logging, log data to workspace. All right, so now, right now, for example, you see there is nothing. If I run the simulation, we notice that the data of the oscilloscope, now they are available in the workspace. If I double click on them, there is this one. And then here we have the values. And basically we have the time vector and we have the data. So for example, if I want to plot, let's say plot, the first vector let's say scope data so one dot values dot time we want to for example plot this one versus the data so first vector versus the second one this is the ramp voltage that we have. And if I want to plot the second uh, scope, so the scope data one, so here I change it to one. And this basically shows us the, the current curve. So at beginning, there is a little bit of uh, disturbance, but after a few nanoseconds, then basically we will have this current graph. So what we want to plot is to plot the current versus voltage so now in this case basically I can use plot the value of instead of time I can take from the first oscilloscope I take the data and plot it versus the data of the second scope so if I do this we get this graph basically the current versus the voltage the drain source current versus drain source voltage 
All right, so this is basically the, the code that we have to use. So we have to get these data and plot them versus each other. All right, so now we are going to create a code to run this simulation for different gate voltages and obtain the characteristic curve for different voltages. Okay, so first let us define this voltage instead of five, we define it as VG because later in the code we can use VG for this. And this time it can be one second, but let us also give that one a parameter. And now I'm going to save this model. So I save it with the name MOSFET CH, MOSFET characteristic, let's say. All right, so we have the file is saved. Now I open a script and we are going to write the code. So what do we want to do? Let's say for I equal one to I equal four to nine. VG is equal I. Okay. So we want to plot the characteristic curve for VG equal to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so in order to run this Simulink model, the command that we have to use is sim, and then we can write the name of the model, MOSFET CH, and then we can give the parameter. What is the parameter here? For example, we can give time, Tim, outside this. Okay, so this basically, we can define time before this four, equal one second. All right, so with this command, basically, if we save this M file in the same folder as we have this simulink file, then it runs the simulink file. So now we have VG is equal to I, let's say VG is equal to four. What kind of data we want to extract? We have done it already. It's basically, it's something like this, a scope data here. So we want to basically get this one. So we want to plot scope data, the data of the first scope versus the data of the second scope. Maybe we can also limit the axis. So the x-axis is the drain to source voltage, so from zero to six, and the y-axis is the drain source current from zero, let's say, to 100. Okay, so this basically get the gate voltage, and it runs the simulation, it plots it, and that's it. You want to run this several times. So now I will save this one in the same folder as I saved the other one. And I name it something else, whatever. MOSFET M5. All right. So we have the code is here. What we have to do here is that in this simulink file, you create a text. So let's say, I create a text, click here to run the simulation. All right, so now I created a text. You double click on the text and then right click, you select hyperlink. Okay, so when you select hyperlink, here we have two options. One of them is MATLAB code. So whenever somebody clicks on this link, we want to run this MATLAB code. Which MATLAB code? MOSFET on the line. What is the name? M5. Okay. So now basically we created a hyperlink. If somebody clicks on this, this one will go through this code and run the simulation as many times as we ask for and eventually we will get this graph, which is not what we want. Now the problem is here we should also type hold on so that the plots are kept. Once more. 
All right, so now you can see that this x-axis is drain source voltage. This is the drain, drain source current. And we have the characteristic curve for different gate voltage. So this first one is 4 volt, 5 volt, 6 volt, and so on. Basically, this is how you can create this type of simulation and embed a code inside your Simulink model. Now, if you are interested in this particular example, I suggest that you use the existing model that MATLAB has because everything is perfect here. You just need to change the properties of this MOSFET to match with whatever MOSFET that you have. But basically, here we learn how to make such type of model. All right. So I hope to see you next time. Bye.